All right, class, this is Mr. Johnson back at you with some more vocabulary. But today, we're doing U.2 Analogies Challenge. Now, if you already did U.1, you'll remember that an analogy, whoops, analogy is a comparison or relationship between two words. So that's what analogy is. All right. So this is our, this is what an analogy is. So this will be helpful to keep in mind as we go through this lesson. Now, if you did well in U.1, this should be a breeze because this is the challenge. This is going to challenge us with our um, knowledge of what we already know. So here's what we're going to do. I have two screens. We're going to look on my Excel screen. You'll see I have my wonderful and helpful notes here on my left. I always take notes because that's what helps me center my thinking. I suggest you do it on a scrap piece of paper or anything else that you like to write on, your little brother's homework, it doesn't matter. But take some notes if it helps. All right, so here we go. Complete the analogy. Diphtheria is disease as chicken is to, all right. So I have diphtheria, if I can spell that, dysperia, is to disease, all right, as chicken, whoa, chicken is to what? So diphtheria is disease. So let's think about this. So diphtheria, we'll call it dip, is one disease. So the relationship is one of something. All right. So it's related. The relationship is one of something. So diphtheria is a disease. So diphtheria is one of many diseases. We know right now COVID-19 is going on, and that's another disease. So let's look at our options. So we have diphtheria. So diphtheria is one disease, and its relationship with diseases, it's one of something. It's one of the diseases. All right? So chicken is to what? What are my options? So IXL gave me some options. I have poultry, I have rooster, and I have farm. All right, so those are my options. So let's break down my, my, my farm. A place where animals live, I guess. A rooster. Okay. One type of poultry. And what is poultry? Poultry is all types of poultry. So, we need to add the same relationship that's up here. We need to we need to make that the same as down here. So diphtheria is disease. disease the diphtheria is one disease, right? One of diseases. Now chicken is blank. What would it be? Chicken is the farm. Well, I guess that's one. That's one um, part of the farm. But a chicken really isn't a farm. So chicken is to rooster. 
Well, that would be like one part to one part, and that's not what's happening. So we'll say as chicken is to poultry, because poultry, just like disease, could be many things, and chicken is one part. So that shows that they have the same relationship. So let's look over here, check poultry, boom. All right, I'm gonna erase these little notes so we can try another skill. All right, speech is to communication as democracy is to blank. So speech, is to communication and then we want dem democracy which is the right to have a vote and a, a say in things is to what so speech let's break down speech to communication again speech is one part of communication. So speech is one part of communication. Like we said before, you could, you could talk, text, you could call, you could email, but speech is one part. So the relationship is, so the relationship is a single part of a bigger whole. All right. So now we need to we need to add in that same type of relationship down here. What are my options? I have government. Oh, spelled that all sorts of wrong. Government, patriotism, and citizen. Now, democracy, we know that that comes with that we say that the U.S. is a democracy. We don't have a king. We all have a say. So what democracy, what is it a part of? Because we want to re, we want to recreate the same relationship. Democracy is part of what? Patriotism? Well, you could be patriotic without having a say or voice. A citizen? No, a citizen is a part is a part of the whole country, but not really part of democracy. But democracy is definitely a part of our government, see? So democracy is, is a small part of government, right? So that is the same as speech is a part of communication. We'll pick government, boom. Remember, we're matching, we're matching the same types of relationships between these words. All right, last one we're going to do. We have cobbler to shoes, oh, to shoes, and then florist to what? All right, so let's look at this relationship. So a cobbler makes the shoes, makes the shoes. So a cobbler makes the shoes. So the relationship, the relationship is the first word makes 
the second word. All right, so that's the relationship. This is key because I want to match that. So the first word, the first word makes the second word. So now I have florist, all right? So let's see, what are my options? Weddings, faces, or bouquets? So which one of these does a florist make? Does a florist make a wedding? No, a florist can make flower arrangements for a wedding, but they don't actually make, they don't actually make the wedding, do they? They just make the flowers, vases. Well, no, a florist doesn't make vases. No, the florist can use the vases, but doesn't really make them. So what, what about our last option? Bouquets. Yes, a florist makes bouquets. And for all you who don't know, a bouquet is just a large arrangement of fl different flowers put together. So that is what a florist makes. So I'm going to put florist to bouquets. This will be the same relationship as cobblers to shoes. The, the cobbler makes shoes. The florist makes flower arrangements. So I'm going to hit bouquets, submit. There you go. So I showed you how to do the first three. You saw my notes. You saw what I did. Remember, you're looking for the relationship between the words. What analogy, which connection or relationship, what relationship do the first two words have? And you're going to match that when you pick your answer for the second word. I know you're going to crush this skill and do great.